Minnie's Rainbow is a very sweet episode of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. It's the 26th episode of the second season. And in this one, there is a rainbow that has appeared over the clubhouse. And they learn about the fact that there is legendarily a leprechaun and a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And Donald is in disbelief. Goofy is very curious about this leprechaun. Donald wants to know if there actually is a pot of gold. So they decide that there is only one way to answer these questions. And that is to follow the rainbow and see if there's a pot of gold. But things are not as straightforward because this leprechaun, who was played by Pete, is changing the signs and using a leprechaun tool, um, a mystery leprechaun tool, which I just thought was hilarious, to make it very difficult for them because obviously he doesn't want them to find the pot of gold. He doesn't want them to see him. Will they end up reaching the end of the rainbow and finding him? I'm not going to say what happens, but I think it's one that's definitely going to inspire a lot of fun in young viewers. Rainbows are very magical things. And first of all, I have to say I love that they go with the more classic rainbow colours. They don't go with the red and yellow and pink and green. Um, I don't know why the classic rainbow colour song is incorrect, but I can't. I, I still can't remember the actual proper order of the rainbow colours because I sang the red and yellow and pink and green song my entire childhood but they go with a much more traditional route which i think is uh really great but may cause some confusion if they do go to school and sing the classic rainbow song hopefully that song is just banned now i think i might just be thinking too much into it but i think it's definitely going to be something that young children can then think back to if they see a rainbow when they're outside a parent can point to the rainbow and say look that's the rainbow that minnie and mickey followed I think that relatability and bringing aspects of the clubhouse into real life or of course bringing real life experiences into episodes of the clubhouse is something that allow children to get the most educational experience out of this and that's definitely what we get here. In terms of direct education there's not too much in here, you know they're not doing that much counting or learning of shapes but colours definitely, definitely learning colours and thinking of different um, different patterns of colours they're trying to identify at one point a fake rainbow which I thought looked pretty good actually it looked pretty uh, pretty nice um and it's a nice little adventure story it's stereotypical at one point Pete says in his Irish accent hot potatoes um and a lot of other kind of classic I don't know if Irish people say hot potatoes but certainly the mention of potatoes is very stereotypical and a lot of um, other little phrases here and there not that I have a problem with that not that I'm Irish but it's just you know they've decided to go down the stereotypical route with this leprechaun character but I don't think that's something that's a problem it's a fun episode it's cute Donald is I love to I mean one of the main reasons I watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is because I love Donald Duck but I have to admit that Donald really struggled to suspend disbelief with this. Um, and I kind of like that he was wrong. That we as a viewer get to see the leprechaun and know that Donald's just being a little bit pathetic. But I really enjoyed it. I thought Mini Rainbow was a very sweet episode. Very brightly coloured. Great opportunities for learning the colours of the rainbow. I can't really find fault with this one at all.